Welcome to our first Morgan Trials of the new year. Today we're going to be doing a taste test of all of the Apophic SKUs. Quick disclaimer, I do work for this company, but I paid for every bit of this myself and it's completely unbiased because I couldn't tell you the last time I had any of this wine. So we're going to give it a try. We've got some other red wine drinkers that I keep finding drinking other stuff other than this. So we're going to see if we can see what they think of this wine. Uh, this is my friend Marla, her fiance Chris, and you all know the other Morgan. So, uh, so with that, let's get started. All right, so first off, we're going to start with some whites, just to kind of cleanse the palate because we just had some steak and Cabernet and stuff like that. So we're going to start with the Apothic White. Uh, this has been around for a while. It used to be really, really sweet. They made it a little less sweet, so, and I haven't had it since, so let's see how it is. It's sweet, but it's not overpowering. Yeah, it used to be even sweeter than this. Really? You gotta yeah. have something with it though. The chocolate really enhances the flavor. Yeah, this is good with chocolate. It's not sweet like a Moscato, but it's not dry like a Pinot Grigio or a Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. And this is just milk chocolate. Nothing added, nothing. Mm -hmm. Just simple. Just this chocolate. goes well together with milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. oh, it does. I could do this. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have chocolate with each of these wines. We've tried to pair uh, different Ikea down. chocolate with each of the wines. <laughs> So that was a Pothic White. FYI, if anybody's curious, it's 12% alcohol. Favorites. And they say peach, apricot, and tropical notes. I don't know. It tastes like white wine to me. I got the apricot. Yeah. No, I got the apricot for sure. Mm -hmm. That was very tasty. Yeah. It was apricot. delicious. All right. Mm -hmm. So that's the Apothic White. Next up, we're doing the Apothic Rose with more milk chocolate. That's really not bad for rosé. Mm. So rosé is like the hot thing in wine over the last couple of years. Apothic was one of the first ones to come out with the rosé. And this is kind of in the middle. If it's a French rosé, it's really dry. And uh, turn your mouth inside out. That's the French rosés, the um, Provence de Rosé. And then you've got some of the sweeter rosés that are out there. This is kind of in the middle, but it's a little fruity. This one gets a little higher at 13% alcohol. The milk chocolate doesn't really do much with it. No. Mm -hmm. It's good, but yeah, that's why. I'll, I'll still say. Like, mm. The rosé is good by itself, though. Almost. Yeah. I honestly like this by itself. It's yeah. better without the chocolate. Mm -hmm. And that's sad for me to say. <laughs> that is sad. I agree. I'm not a big rosé fan, but that was, yeah. that was good. Mm -hmm. All right. So next we're going to... One that's coming out literally tomorrow as we film this. On February, we've got Apothic Pinot Noir. As it says, this is a Pinot Noir with a dark side. Layers of vanilla, dark cherry, raspberry with a soft, luscious finish at 13.5%. So we're using a raspberry white chocolate mm -hmm. as the pairing with it. You can really smell that raspberry in there. Oh, yeah. It, smells like, it smells like a jammy raspberry jam, that you just cut into. Jam, yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, no, that was good. <laughs> I, I think Stacy just inhaled it. <laughs> I did. I literally that was just inhaled good. it. Oh, my God. The two of those together, yeah. mm. it's like uh, biting into a jelly donut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is. It's, oh my it's exactly God, yeah. it. A raspberry jelly donut with white, chocolate icing. White chocolate. Wow. With white, white chocolate. chocolate icing. The white chocolate. And this really just makes it explode. Amplifies it. It, amplifies it was so it, yeah. good. That was delicious. So I guarantee you, you will not have a Pinot Noir more jammy than this one. Like I just tried it without the chocolate, and it's jammy. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's sweet, mm -hmm. jammy. You get the raspberry, um, the dark cherry. Like it sits there and says dark cherry. You mm -hmm. get all of that dark red fruit. It coats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. We are literally three glasses in or three drinks in, and everybody's already filling it. Um, all right, so we next up. We did have a bottle of dinner. <laughs> we did have a whole bottle of dinner. Um, all right, so next is the Apothic Merlot. This is another one that comes out tomorrow as we film this. This one is a jammy dark fruit with plush velvety mouthfeel. The winemaker says this is very heavy dark cherry yes. and dark fruit. So, what chocolate are we mixing this with? Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. Is it's what's a going with this? Regular dark chocolate. Mm. Well, that's really good. Oh, that is velvet is a good term for that. I almost think like blueberry or the. I definitely get the cherry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cherries there. Mm -hmm. the dark. Like that's velvet tart. cherry, it's, but it's tart. Though. It's tart, but it's it. It's got like that cherry jam. 
Jamie is right. I mean, it says Jamie Cherry dark jam. fruit. I mean, normally I drink a wine and I'm like, okay, I can kind of see what the winemaker's saying. No, they literally wrote this and decided to make a wine that's exactly uh, what the yeah. notes say. I don't say. like cherry, but this is this is good. We're I don't try. know if I want chocolate with this. I think I it's think pretty I like good without it. it. Right. I just want to try it with the chocolate to see if it enhances it even mm -hmm. more. It does. Does it? <laughs> it does. <laughs> <laughs> it accentuates the chocolate, though. It doesn't accentuate the wine. Mm -hmm. The wine accentuates the chocolate. Oh my god, it does. I need some dark the cherry. Chocolate uh, the chocolate covered cherries. Chocolate oh, a chocolate cherry covered cherry with this would be amazing. Yes. Mm. I don't like dark chocolate. No. <laughs> but a chocolate covered cherry with this would be amazing. Yeah, I don't like that. I like just the white. Alright, so. so this is the only apothecary that's not red or pink on the label. But I will tell you for Valentine's Day with your chocolate covered strawberries or chocolate covered cherries. This is the Valentine's wine to get. I like this. this is good. It would balance out white chocolate too. All right. So next up, we're going to go to the number two selling Apothic, which is Apothic Crush. This was a seasonal that they came out with. This was velvety smooth. The description on this one says it's made with passion, a luscious with notes of red fruit and caramel. Okay. Or for Yankees, caramel. I don't know what you're talking about. It definitely, it's definitely got a less jammy smell mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. Oh, I like this. Oh my God, up my nose. Oh. <laughs> I'm not the only one. Nope. That one was filled a little too full. <laughs> that wasn't, it was fine. It's, uh, it's, it's the same height as everything. Yeah, that's, part of the, uh, that's part of the bloopers. It's just your fifth one in. Yes. <laughs> it's all right. At the end of this whole video, my cheeks are going to be really red. Your cheeks are already Sorry. red. I know, but they so, do. mine too. I know. Mm. My nickname in college was Rosie. All right, so the chocolate goes really well with this. Does it? I'll get to the chocolate in a second, but I will tell you, this is definitely a I red like blend this. where you get Pinot Noir and Merlot out of these. This is a red blend, but good God, it's soft. It like, is soft, this but is, I like the jamminess of the Merlot and the Pinot. And this is one, red wine that you could just sit there and drink all night and it not like ever get tired because it's soft, but it's easy. Like this is an easy drinking, it's smooth, right. velvety. I could drink this all night long. It doesn't punch you in the face. Like these, I can drink this, right. yes, these are like I've been in. Sure. The yeah, these are you bit into a jelly donut, which is a good thing if that's what you want. This doesn't yeah. have that, but it does have the smooth red wine. It accentuates the blueberries smooth, with the chocolate, delicate at the soft. end. Yeah, you know what this is? It pulls out that blueberry. There are people that say I hate red wine because when I drink it, it makes you turn your face and it just is tart and it's nasty. This is the opposite mm -hmm. of that. This is the red wine that you can do it. Oh, I haven't tried the chocolate yet. It pulls oh, out the should. blueberry. Oh my gosh. Oh, so yeah, we're good. doing blueberry chocolate on this. Blueberry milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. It makes both of them kick a little more and you get the blueberry more. All right, so now we're going to go on to the OG. This is the original. 2009 Apothic Red comes out. Uh, this is the original. This is the number one selling red wine in the country. That's where we're going to now. 13.5% alcohol. Let's see how it is. Alright, this Does is this definitely have jam in it too, a jammy flavor too. So the flavor on this one is alluring notes okay. of dark fruit, mocha, and vanilla. Okay, the dark fruit is what I'm getting. So this one is 13.5%. This is a red blend. It's nowhere near as smooth as the crush, but to me it's a good thing. This tastes like a good full-bodied red wine. Yeah. That has good flavor to Whole it. Whole body is the best way to describe it. Yeah. I don't like reds as much as I do the whites and the sweet, sweet wines. But I remember Wayne introducing this to me. And it was one of the first red wines I was actually able to drink. So this is a dark, dark chocolate with orange. Which okay. Stacy didn't like. No. Marla loved. I just want to taste the chocolate. Alright, let me do the Ew. intro. Let me do the Ew. intro. She get some water before I film this. <laughs> I'm not eating the chocolate. I'm eating pledge. It's like dark chocolate and orange marmalade. Oh. Yeah. No, but you taste no, it, it's don't total you? I taste exactly what Stacy said, but um, <laughs> let's try it with the wine. It is total pledge. Even with the wine, it tastes like pledge. It enhances the pledge. Mm -mm. But if you drink it with Pine the wine. Pine salt pledge. So it is so citrusy, this chocolate. Ooh. But if you eat this dark chocolate with citrus with this wine with Apothic, it is a burst of flavor. It does pair well if you like that flavoring. But the original, I definitely see this is a wine that anybody that doesn't like red wine could potentially drink. 
Anybody that likes red wine could probably down a bottle. Mm. It's a good everyday red wine. So, so shortly after Apothic Red came out, Apothic Dark came out as a seasonal. And it did so well that we kept it around. Apothic Dark is a 14% wine that is rich notes of blackberry, espresso, and dark chocolate. So what are we drink, eating with it? Dark chocolate. But we're going to drink it first. Mm -hmm. It literally smells dark. I don't know how you smell a darkness. It smells but like dark chocolate. I'm going to try not to sniff it, but... Very dry. Oh, yeah. That's dry. My mouth is, like, mm -hmm. dry. Got but, it. me personally, I would drink this one probably over all the others. Except for, I don't know, if I was in the mood, those jammy ones, the Pinot Noir Merlot would probably be where I'd go. This is for one of the true red drinkers. This is a... The, you, you drink this with a steak or the, ribs or something like red that. Meat, yes. This red is, red this meat. is a This is, total this is red a meat. red, red meat wine. Yes. But it, it's good. This would have good at dinner. Yes. All right, now we're going to try it with some dark chocolate. Oh, that's good. The dark chocolate's really good with it. I will actually eat dark chocolate with this wine. Mm-hmm. I like the dark chocolate mm -hmm. with this wine. Mm. It's good. Oh, Together. it brings out like the flavors of the wine. It chocolate, brings out the cocoa, <laughs> the cocoa flavor. The cocoa. That's what, it yeah. It brings out the cocoa flavor in the chocolate. A lot mm. more than just a dark chocolate. Okay, we're going jammy again. Okay, good. So now we're going to go to the, one of the newer wines. This was the new wine that came out in 2020. This is Apothic Cabernet. This is another 13 and a half wine. This one is jammy, dark fruit, and notes of vanilla and silky smooth texture. So we went back jammy. So it sounds like all these like Cab, Pinot Noir, Merlot, they're all jammy. So we're going jammy on this one. It's beautiful. It, it smells jammy. Like the color is It's beautiful. It yeah. smells blueberry, yeah. raspberry. Mm. It, smells it smells jammy. jammy. It smells sweet. It smells awesome. Um, so we're going to try this. Ooh. This is more dessert. This, this is, is delicious. Okay. This one should have came earlier. Mm -hmm. I put it where a Cabernet goes. Normal Cabernet is dry. It goes right before a Zinfandel. This one is a jammier wine. It is a Cabernet grape. But it's jammy as shh. We'll leave it at that. Um, it's good. Uh, it's oh really my good. god, it's I good. love that. It's really good. All right, so now we're going to try it. We, sw we went back from the dark and we went with milk chocolate. I see some red in here. Blueberry. This is blueberry? Oh, this is, blueberry. Oh, this is going to go good with blueberry. What oh, is blueberry? Uh, Why are blueberries red? What? Or purple. So Is that purple? Yeah, they're, like... yeah, they're purplish. Okay. Well, this is a blueberry milk oh, chocolate. Oh, blueberry. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's blueberry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This is great. Don't this question is, me. It's delicious. Dude, it's great. Oh my this god. Definitely, this definitely should work down towards the, and pulls the salt. Out, it pulls out the jamminess. This should have honestly gone in between crush and right Merlot. There. Yeah. Right, right there. This should have been right in the middle. Yeah. This should have been the yeah. third one. Listen, this is trial and error. I haven't had any of these. Now we're learning. If you want it jammy, but kind of more like a real wine, but good god, that's good. That's good. Um, this, this is my favorite one. <laughs> No, oh, yeah, Pot the Cab is amazing. Oh my god. This would be my Valentine's Day one. Mm -hmm. Alright. This would be. If you get this for your... You need to be telling this one, because that's my Valentine. This is your Valentine. Yeah, if you get this oh. for your Valentine, make get some blueberry <laughs> no, chocolate to go with it. You need to contact him. So you need to be letting him know. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'm getting a case of this. This is good. Will you tell Chris to get me I have this an extra for Valentine's I have, an extra, I have an extra bottle of it. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you so much. Thanks, Wayne. This is good. Mm -hmm. That was delicious. Mm -hmm. I like to fill my cup back up. Mm -hmm. This is. We'll come back to that one later. All right. And last but not least, the next biggest craze in wine, Apothic Inferno. It's a whiskey barrel aged wine instead of normal oak barrel like all the rest of these. This one is actually aged in real aged whiskey barrels For to infuse it. Uh, like we said, Apothic Inferno. This one is the highest. This is almost 16% alcohol, 15.8%. This one will get you happy. Um, as you smell it, it smells like wine mixed with whiskey. It's, if my past is any experience, oh when you taste it, it tastes like you took a drink of whiskey and then you drank some wine afterward. You like wine, I like whiskey. This is very good. Mm. It's a little bit drier than I like, but I can manage it. But you taste that whiskey. You, you do, do taste, taste whiskey. that whiskey. And so it, it kind of, it comp it, yeah. That's so good. Yeah. That's more of a whiskey experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, so we're trying it with some. This would be good with a sweet cigar. We're trying it with some citrus chili cashews, which is part of a man crate that I got with 
a whiskey crate from Man Crates, and it came with citrus chili cashews. It's a little too hot for Stacy because she's a sissy. But all right, so finishing this up, Here I will. Go. I will be honest. I will say that Apothic has gotten better over time, and it keeps getting better. The OG Apothic Red was really good. Um, the Dark was good. Uh, the Dark was actually the great, but as we went, the Cabernet, we all finished the Cabernet except for Marla. She's just a white drinker. Um, but the Merlot and Pinot was amazing. If you like jammy wines, which I think everybody at this table ended up saying they like jammy wines, it was awesome. I just pulled those three. Yeah, the Cabernet, Merlot, and Pinot are amazing. Um, the original was good. Crush is so easy yeah. to drink. Crush is so easy to drink. I'll um, that. But then again, if you like a whiskey flavored wine, the Inferno is awesome. Um, the white. Nobody's really talking about the white, but she liked the white. She liked the white. I like the white. I the, like white the white is great. I like it's, the rosé. It's crisp. It's good to start with. If you're not a normal rosé drinker, yeah. the rosé, this is the rosé to start with Yeah. to really enhance your flavor because yeah. I don't like the bite of rosés, most rosés, and that was amazing. So the short story long of this is Apothic is made for people that – are middle of the road. You don't know if you like really dry wines, really light wines, really sweet wines. Apothic pleases everybody. Every one of these, I think we would all sit there and drink the bottle. And each of us have our favorites, but I think we all like the new ones best. So with that, thank you for watching. We'll do some more. We're gonna do uh, the new Barefoot Fruit Scottos uh, on Super Bowl Sunday. We're gonna try out the new flavors of blueberry and mango. So uh, stay tuned, subscribe, like the channel, comment, do all that good stuff so I can keep making these videos and thanks for watching. Go Bucks! Go Bucks, yes! Go Bucks! Go Bucks!